guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and this is the Samsung Craft from MetroPCS. If you watched the review for this phone, you remember that I said it was one of the best messaging phones on the market, if not the best messaging phone on the market right now. Now, a lot of you may be thinking, okay, yeah, but it's on MetroPCS. I mean, is it really worth switching to Metro, a smaller, you know, lesser known carrier, just to get this phone? Well, hopefully this dog fight will help you to decide. Okay. Okay, so the next big thing on these devices is the camera. Um, and they both have decent cameras. I mean, the, the laser has a three megapixel camera. The Craft has a, you know, basically three megapixel camera. It has a 3.2 megapixel camera. So, you know, both of those, that's a great camera. The Craft has an advantage because it has, as you can see, um, the LED flash, and it also has autofocus. And so, you know, just that by itself, Obviously, you know, you can guess that it's going to take better pictures um, just because it has that extra ability to focus on an object. It has the flash, which is, you know, makes it a little more handy in certain situations. The laser took good pictures um, and it was fine enough, but just compared to the craft, uh, the craft took absolutely amazing pictures. pictures. And so I'll go over to um, the gallery here. And so, you know, here I took a picture of basically the same thing. Uh, while I was outside, uh, same conditions, you know, basically sunny conditions, and get both of them to rotate. So you can see uh, the craft just seem to focus uh, much better, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to tell uh, from the camera, you know, the way it's capturing it, probably not, uh, but the craft just took a much better picture, you know, simply because it could focus on that one object, whereas the laser, it's a good picture, but it's just kind of, you know, all around certain parts are fuzzy that shouldn't be. Um, it's a little more grainy. Uh, you know, it's just, it doesn't have the capabilities that uh, the Samsung Craft has. I'll go over to another picture. Uh, this is a close-up shot, and, you know, you may not be able to tell from the video, um, but this picture is amazing. It's beautiful. The way that it focused, the way that it captured everything, the clarity, the color, um, it takes amazing pictures, whereas you know, the laser, again, it's fine enough, it's just not as good. It's just lacking, you know, that, that little bit of extra oomph that the, the Craft has. So again, you know, I'm going to give the winner to um, the Samsung Craft. You know, it, it has an autofocus and it has a flash, and just simply for that reason, uh, for the most part, it's just going to take a better picture. Okay, so moving on to uh, just basic data, uh, web browsing, social networking. Both of them have social networking features. You'll see if I go to the uh, menu here, and I'll scroll, you saw there it has a mobile email. Uh, both of them do have email capabilities. Um, you know, I, I happen to prefer the interface on the craft. Um, you know, it's just a little different, kind of makes it a little more professional, but they both have those capabilities. And then you can see they both feature uh, social networking apps. So with the laser, because it's on AT&T, you have AT&T social net. Uh, but then the craft also has an IMing and social app. And so, you know, both of them are satisfactory. Obviously, it's a messaging phone. So, you know, performance and the experience is not going to be great overall. Um, I'm guessing that you, you probably won't use these features very much unless you have you know, just a quick tweet that you need to send out. Um, but they both worked fine. You'll also notice that the Craft hat or the Laser has um, Twitter and Facebook apps. These actually just go to the mobile site. And then you'll notice I had those same uh, shortcuts on the Craft's homepage, uh, Twitter, as well as YouTube. Those just go to the mobile site. And actually, I ended up using those features you know, more than I did the actual app itself, just because it performed better and it was, you know, much easier to get to, just loaded a lot faster. Uh, speaking of data, the Craft obviously is a 4G phone, so you're using uh, Metro PCS's 4G network. Not only that, but surprisingly, it also has Wi-Fi, uh, which is strange and, and pretty much unheard of for a messaging phone, and I'm guessing that we'll probably never see that again. Um, unless it's, you know, years down the road. Um, so, you know, with the Craft, you have a definite advantage. Not only is it on a 4G network, but you have Wi-Fi uh, where it's available. Whereas with the Laser, um, you're using 3G only. And so, you know, definitely speeds are going to be much better. Uh, one other thing to note about data is that, you know, Metro PCS um, has data and, and their plan set up a little differently than AT&T does. You know, with AT&T, it's a basic 
carrier, you buy uh, your plan with minutes, and then you buy a separate data plan, whether it's you know $20 or $15. Whereas with a Craft, um, everything is included with your plan. Now you do have to get a 4G plan. You can't just have the basic uh, $40 a month plan that's pretty popular with Metro PCS. You do have to get a 4G plan, which is either $55 a month or $60 a month. So, you know, data pricing is a little different. And then obviously when you use data, when you use uh, web browsing or whenever you use the IMing and social app, um, that's all included. You don't have to worry about extra charges. Whereas on the laser, uh, you may have extra charges. You may have to add a plan, whereas you know you didn't want to before. So you know it may be a little more uh, possibly with the craft, depending on how you price it. Um, but you know at the same time, you don't have to worry about an extra plan or overages or anything like that. Uh, one quick note also with the craft, um, it does include a micro SD card. The laser has a micro SD card slot. Um, but it doesn't include a card. The Craft comes with a two gig card. It supports up to 32 gigs, um, but it comes with a two gig card and pre-installed on the two gig card is uh, Star Trek, the full length movie, uh, which is pretty cool. And actually, um, you know, especially watching it on the AMOLED display, even though it's only, you know, 3.3 inch display, um, it actually pretty was, it was pretty amazing to watch. So that's you know kind of a slight advantage that um, the craft has. But they do both support um, 32 gigs of memory. Both have micro SD card slots. You'll notice that the slot was on the outside with the craft, whereas the laser it's so thin that really the only port they managed to fit on it um, was the micro USB charging port. There's not even there's no headphone jack. There's no 3.5. 2.5, even proprietary. It's only the micro USB port. So, you know, a slight disadvantage there because the phone is so thin. And then again, the micro SD card slot is underneath the battery cover. Whereas on the Craft, you know, it's a little bigger, so you get pretty much everything. You have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you have the SD card slot on the outside. You also have a dedicated camera button, whereas on the laser, you know, again, because it's so thin, uh, there's no dedicated camera button you'll have to use, uh, which is one of the reasons why I set up the shortcut right there to go to the camera. So slight dis or slight advantage there to the craft, um, just because it you know has a little more bulk to it. They managed to fit a little bit more on there. Now speaking of the battery, turn them over. Uh, the Craft has a 1500 milliamp hour battery. The Laser has a 1000 milliamp hour battery. So, you know, basically the Craft is a little bit better, um, but actually I noticed um, that the Craft's battery life wasn't that great. It's going crazy. I don't know if you can hear that vibrating. It's because it was touching something on the screen. Um, the Craft I noticed didn't have great battery life. You know, it really only lasted about a day and a half. Uh, to two days on standby. So with normal use, you're probably gonna get about a day, maybe a day and a half, basically the same as a smartphone. Whereas on the laser, um, definitely it, it was better battery life. I got about two and a half days of use. And so it's much better battery life, even though the numbers uh, would tell you a little differently. Now, you know, granted, even two and a half days is not great for a messaging phone. On a lot of messaging phones you can get um, you know, five to six days on standby. So, you know, even two and a half days isn't great, but it's it's better than uh, the Samsung Craft. So finally, uh, pricing. The Samsung Craft being on Metro PCS, as you know, you have to pay full price for the phone. You don't get a subsidized uh, price because there is no contract. So the Craft is $299 right now. Um, it's, it's usually $349, but as of the filming of this video, they're running a special for $299. And so, you know, kind of a hefty price tag considering, you know, that's a lot of smartphones don't cost that much on contract. Um, but the Pantech Laser is $100 uh, with a two year contract and after rebates. So, you know, definitely a much better price. Uh, but then again, you know, you are getting a lot more features that you don't get with the laser. You're, you're getting a 4G phone, you have Wi Fi. Um, you know, to me, the AMOLED display is better, it has a better camera. So it does cost more, but to me, I think the price difference um, is basically, you know, what you would expect. You're going to pay for what you get, basically, um, which is the general rule with phones. Okay, so there it is, guys. Laser versus Craft, two of the best messaging phones 
on the market right now. Um, two of the best messaging phones that I've used, in my opinion. Um, these are definitely top notch. As to which one is better, um, it's really a draw because there's awesome features about both of them. The Craft has, it's a 4G phone. It, it has Wi-Fi. It has a beautiful AMOLED display that in my opinion was just better than the AMOLED display on the laser. It also has a much, much better camera, autofocus and a flash. Then you have different things like the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you know Star Trek being pre-installed. So, you know, awesome features with the craft, but then again with the laser, the UI I think was just great, uh, very accommodating and just overall fun. Um, just a lot of great customizing features, uh, customization features um, that I thought were just, you know, great to have. And then you have a super thin phone, uh, which is just cool in itself, in my opinion. And then you're still getting an amazing keyboard, one of the best keyboards that I've used. And so, you know, it's really a draw. Um, but basically, guys, you know, you can decide and see which one you'd like to get. Is it worth to is it, is it worth switching to Metro PCS um, for the craft? That's really up to you. In a lot of ways, um, I think it is worth it. If if those features are features that really matter to you, if it matters to you that the AMOLED display is better on this phone, or if it matters to you that you're getting a 4G phone, if those things matter then yes, I would definitely recommend switching. However, if they don't matter, um, or if you just don't want to pay you know, full price for a phone, um, then the laser is, is a worthy contender. It's definitely number one. You know, right now it's number one on AT&T. And so, you know, not a shabby phone to stick with if you don't want to switch to Metro. But anyway, there it is, guys. You guys can decide which one you want, laser and craft. But anyway, thanks so much guys for watching. Uh, be sure and check out PhoneDog.com for more news, updates, and reviews. We have plenty of videos on our YouTube channel, uh, but we have you know much more news and exclusive content on the site, PhoneDog.com, and then our Facebook page, facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're gonna have a live chat every Friday at two o'clock. You guys can come and chat with us. If you have any questions about these phone or any other messaging phones, you can follow me on Twitter. My screen name is It's My Job to Know. So just follow me and ask me any questions. I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. But thanks so much, guys, for watching. I'm Cindy from PhoneDog.com, and I will see you guys later. later.